how you present yourself matters. You know, I'm a natural playful dude and goofy dude. So I like to have fun and live my life like it's the last day. I don't like to be tense and stressed out. That's how you go bald. That's how you get ugly. That's how your body just get all whack. But in this world, people take happiness as weakness. They take niceness as weakness. So you see a lot of people overdoing it just to protect their soul so they don't want to be tested. So, and also people notice that they get more better results from people when they kind of act mean or standoffish or whatever, or, or, or you know, that's, they just get better results. You can be tough and just be acting and be nice, but some people actually not weak. Well, some people weak, but they act tough, but they still get the results until they get all the way tested. But for the most part, whether you're strong or not, you got to have a guard up because in this world, people going, you know, when you're dealing with women, you got to present yourself a certain way or they'll take advantage of you as well. When you're dealing with anybody, it's a job, business, this world ain't no joke. This world is designed to try to milk you and they're looking for stepping stools. They're looking for people that they can use for escape goats. You know, they're looking for people that they can take their anger out on. They're looking for people that they can, uh, a lot. This world is looking for people that they can really take advantage of. And uh, you got to present yourself in a way where you can't be, that you're not, you're beneath certain things. And then they won't, they'll carry their stuff. You got to make people act like they, it's an honor to be in your presence. Because if you act too nice, they're going to act like, they're going to act like it's, um, they can always be in your presence. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're going to act. They're going to act like they can always be in your presence. You, you got to really go hard out here, man. You got to really understand that in this world, it's really the, you got to really be strong, man. It, it's really ain't in no games at this point. You can, if people think you're weak, they will hurt you. They will hurt you and say anything they want to you. You know, in this world, they can really, they will really hurt you. They don't have no problem hurting you. So, I'm just here to let you know, present yourself the way people are going to treat you how you want to be treated. You, how you allow them to treat you. It's all about how you present yourself. And people can appreciate your nice side and your funny side after they see a tougher side of you. You know, they can see you got to mix it. You got to mix it a little bit. You know, you ain't got to act fake, but let them know. You got to say something that's kind of firm or give people a hint that it's not sweet over here. You know, so you, you just got to do it. If you don't, it can be dangerous for you. Because once a person think, once people or a person or a female think that they can hurt you, they will hurt you. But if they got a feeling that you ain't tolerating nothing and whether it's just um, anything, if they feel like you ain't tolerating um, disrespect, if you ain't tolerating this, you ain't tolerating that, it can really, really, really get, it can really, really get harmful, man. You can't really care about too much stuff in this world. You got to be nonchalant. And you got to go hard on these people. These people got to know you ain't playing. These people got to know you ain't playing. And whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? They got to know you ain't playing. They all People always sizing you up. They sizing your wallet up. They sizing your um, your connections up. They, they, they sizing who you hang around with up. They sizing you up. People always sizing you up. You know, it took me a while to realize that every, almost everybody looking for weakness. They looking for weakness in you to see if they can get over on you, talk to you any kind of way. They don't matter how big your muscles is, you can be bigger muscle. 
They ain't happy until you knock, almost knock their whole neck loose. Then you get in trouble. A lot of times they didn't find out that I was strong or really ferocious or, until they woke up with a knot on their head. I don't want it to get to that point. So I have to, I have to show a more tougher exterior early on because, you know, people just don't know how to tolerate and take and appreciate somebody being, treating them like a human being and being nice, man. They just can't do it. Most people, 97 percent of people can't do it. Females can't do it. I can't even call a person a good guy. Just a guy that's one of peace of mind. Just nice. There's one piece that comes across as, oh, you acting nice because you need me. You acting nice because you want something from me. Present yourself with some dignity. Can't talk too much. People think you talk too much. They think you're lonely. Can't talk too much. You can't make yourself so available. You can't make yourself so available. You make yourself so available. They're going to take you for granted. So you can't make yourself so available. You got to be mysterious, man. It's not hard, man. You just can't treat people like you know them. You can't. You can't make people think you need them. <laughs> Sometimes, just some people, families, man. You can't. You can't even act like you need these people in your family. You can't even act. You know, some people like that. Family can act be your worst, 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 worst. They can be your worst, worst. If they think you need them, if they, they, you know, family treating certain family members better because they have certain things, you know. That's how they treating certain people, man. You know? And that's how it's going, man. Everybody treating, um, you gotta have your guard up out here, man. You gotta have your game face, poker face, whatever you wanna call it. Some of you people learn it early. In my case, if, if, you, if you're anything like me, I ain't have a game face on. I just kept getting in fights. Getting beaten a lot, losing a lot, beating and just scraping, scraping. Bah, bah, bah. Why am I getting in so many fights? Too friendly. Not because I wanted approval, validation. Just enjoying life. I was enjoying life at an early age. Joning, going back and forth, teasing, talking trash. You know. Yeah, so. I just think that um, I learned late. So now I'm switching now. You know, I still got a lot, a lot of life, a lot of life to live, but the earlier you can learn this, the better you off, because it saves you so much disrespect and fighting and fighting. And then people say, whoa, he can fight. He hit really hard, he's superhero punches. But I don't gotta do all that. I can, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's crazy. I recommend keep your guard up, folks. Um, I believe in a red pill community. We call it the masculine frame. Keep your masculine frame going on, guys. I mean, this can go for women. Uh, anyway, anybody they take night they take advantage of this nice people, but um. For you guys out there, keep your masculine frame up there in the red pill manosphere. Keep your um, keep your masculine frame up there. Don't be too fake. Don't overdo nothing. Don't overdo nothing. But you gotta get you gotta show people your tough side because <laughs> it ain't gonna be sweet. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get too much. Most of the people not gonna treat you and respect your nice side, your playful side. They take you as a joke. My mother was telling me that when she, before she died. She told me, you know, don't be too, don't be too playful. People ain't gonna take you. 
They ain't gonna take you seriously. You know, and some people don't want to respect you if you're happy. They don't want to respect you. They want to belittle you. You know what I'm saying? I never was one to seek power. Some of you people don't want don't you don't really want to seek power. You don't seek to be approved and to be popular. Sort of like the superhero who got powers who didn't want them. While the other guy who wanted the power envied and mad at the guy who got the who didn't want them. Most superheroes don't want the power that they got. You know, they didn't ask for it. They wasn't seeking it. If they do enjoy it, they wasn't seeking it. The bad people are always the people who want the power. They get jealous of the people with the power. <laughs> hey, look, I'm Alan Williams, the Realionaire. Y'all know who I am. Um, you can find me on Instagram. It's YouTube. Uh, Instagram, Alan Realionaire, A-L-L-A-N. Make sure you spell Realionaire right. R-E-A-L-L-I-O-N-A-I-R-E. -L -L -E. Let's do that. On, I'm on YouTube, whatever. Just find me. Subscribe to a lot of my stuff. Anything you you know, I said that you think somebody need to hear, share it. Hey, press the like, subscribe. Um, I love you, but Jesus love you more. Real Nation, we out. Alpha Male Nation, we out. Sigma Nation, we out. Men of God, we out. See you next time. Peace.